ain't worth more than they thought of me. I gotta be the Lord, said I'm worth it all when they pay the whole fee. Put a spirit in my heart so that I can be free. Way be, you will find liberty and have peace. Every day I wait, gotta give thanks, gotta pray. Whatever my hands gotta do, I gotta do it great. Go the whole way, gotta stay focused in the paint. Bottle in my face, I don't wanna. What's Gucci? What's up, guys? So, <clears throat> I just want to come to y'all. I don't know. Something was telling me to make this video, so um, I am. Um, so everybody know that the coronavirus is here. Everybody's in quarantine. Everybody's home. People are getting sick of being in their houses, which I perfectly understand because, you know, I be feeling like that sometimes too, but I think right now, like, one of the best things that we can do is honestly, is to, uh, as much as I hate to say this, like, y'all, we got, we need to stay in our houses, like, for real, like, <clears throat> I feel like right now, in the time that we're in during this pandemic, you know, people, a lot of people are saying, like, this coronavirus is, you know, fake and it's not as serious as it is. Well, I mean, it, it's serious when people die, and to be honest, like, <clears throat> I was watching the news earlier with my mom, and, you know, it said that in my specific area where I'm at, like, like right here where I'm at, <clears throat> we have one of the highest cases ratings and all that, and I think deaths too, so I don't know, but that's not even what prompted me to make this video. I was in the shower and I was thinking about it. I was like, I feel like people, people are being selfish right now. And they're not really thinking about the long-term effects of what's going on. So what I mean by that is, like, everybody want to get out the house. Everybody keeps on claiming that they're bored and stuff like that. But, like, if we go out, we're just going to make things worse, to be honest. Because there's a reason why there is social distancing. Like, everybody needs to so social distance because if we're not all together in a big crowd or whatever, then it's less likely to spread. Now, I give it up to all the essential workers. I appreciate you for everything that y'all do because y'all risking y'all lives every single day to go out. So, if you don't have an essential job, y'all just stay in the house. It's not that serious. Like, I understand, like, you don't want to be out, but y'all think about it. The sooner all this is over, the sooner we can go out. And I know everybody, especially around here where I'm at, everybody wants a summer my birthday is in the summer. I'm trying to do something for my birthday. I ain't trying to be in the house for my birthday. So, y'all, we all social distance like we need to be right now. We will be good, hopefully. Like, I don't want, I don't want things to open up too mm -hmm. early and then we're going to have a second wave of this. No, I don't want that to happen. So, stop being selfish and wanting to go out. Let's listen and obey and let's stay in our houses. If you go out, wear a mask, wear gloves and all that. No matter how ridiculous you look. Whatever, like, I think that it is important that we do listen to what people are saying. Like, this is, this is not just, you know, something man-made, you know, like, this is serious. Like, people... People are dying, so that's one aspect of it that I want to talk about. The other aspect is, like, what are you doing with this time while you're in quarantine? I only ask that because, like, a lot of people I talk to, a lot of people be telling me that they're bored. And I'm like, mm, you're bored, but you're not really doing anything productive and like a lot of people I know like they always say you know like yo like mm -hmm. I just need a day off like if I had you know time to do this do that do this and I would do this this and that but now that people have the time to do it it's like nobody doing nothing I can't well I can't say nobody doing anything but it's like 
a lot of people like complain like what are y'all doing like I feel like this is a blessing in disguise yes right now I'm not making money I mean I'm about to you know get stimulus unemployment and stuff like that but like what if it wasn't about the money what are you doing with your time like for me this is probably one of the best things that could have happened to be honest because I have a lot more time to do everything that I want to do like what are you doing with your time I think the way that you use your time up in a day says a lot like if you want to do, like, if there's something that you always want to do, but you didn't have the time to do it, now that you have the time to do it, why are you not doing it? I think this is most definitely the time. If you want to get a business started, start it now. Because you have the time to work on websites. You have time to do research. Like, you have, you have a lot of time to do everything for that business. So... While you're in quarantine, while this is going on, or after quarantine, you can start up a business. You want to do YouTube, you've never had the time to do YouTube, start your YouTube channel. Like me, I'm going to be getting out a lot more content and being a lot more consistent because now I have the time. First, At first, it was because I didn't have a computer to record my stuff on or a camera to record my stuff on. Now that I you know, have everything back the way I need it to be. I'm going to use my time to most definitely upload YouTube content. You know, working on another business. You know, doing stuff for that. You know, just being productive. I'm not saying, like, you have to work all the time while you're in quarantine. Enjoy your time. Relax. Get some rest. Catch up on rest. Read a book. Do something. I just don't like it when people say that, you know, that they're bored when you have all this time you have all this time to do stuff mm. yeah so this is really where you have to get your creative brain going or like do like just do something you know creative like a lot of people on tiktok now make you a tiktok do whatever you want you know if you want to be more active on social media do that like especially now like this is time for like if you want to become an influencer do that like just think of little things every day to do to be productive and i think that's kind of where i'm going with this be productive y'all like this is valuable time that we cannot get back because once everything starts back up, it's going to be going, 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 especially, you know, like with the economy and stuff, like everything is going, it's going to be slow, but it's going to be fast paced. So take advantage of this time. I'm telling you, you are not going to regret it. Um, <clears throat> just don't be lazy. Set goals, set goals for yourself every if not every day every week i know for me one thing that i am going to start doing again and want to do is i'm going to start working out consistently again so i'm going to get back into doing that i have the time to do it because i'm here in the house all day you know when i'm not doing other work you know if you want to start a book start a book like my one of my big sisters she already had one book done. I think she finished another another one of her books while she was in quarantine. And she's about to start on another book and a screenplay. That's what I'm saying. Like, use your time wisely. Think of ideas that you've always wanted to do and then execute them. It's not that hard, baby. It's really not. Like... So practice social distancing. Um, you know, yes, we're in the house, but it's going to be it's going to be worth it because we're we're going to get better. We're going to get through this. Like it's just we just need everybody's cooperation to do this. And then do something with your time. Like make an effort, you know, get creative. 
find something productive to do. Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, if you, if you make the most out of this, this will be some of the best few months off that we've had. You know, it said that people are dying. People are getting sick to the point where, you know, like, it's unbearable for some people from what I heard. But, you know, yeah, just, just do your, do your part. You feel me? Like, that's all I'm saying is do your part. I don't know who needed his. I just want to get this off my chest and off my heart because someone was telling me to record this video. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about everything that I said in the comments. One thing I also wanted to say for the people like myself. So, I know even before this virus had hit, I know I wanted to, you know, work from home and whatnot doing like my like my business stuff so for all the up-and-coming entrepreneurs this is a challenge that I want you to do basically think of like you're already running a very successful business to where you can work from home what would that day look like what would your routine look like what time would you wake up you know what would you do during the day no what would you, you know, what goals you want to accomplish? Like, just think of it like you're already working from home. Not like, you know, oh, I just have this, you know, unfiltered time, so I'm not going to want to do nothing. No, like, think of it as you're already working from home. Like, what, what would that day look like? What would you do within that day? You know, what goals and stuff would you get done? So, <clears throat> that's my little spiel on all this quarantine coronavirus you know everything so let me know what you think in the comments down below um i most definitely forgot to say in the beginning of the video to subscribe if you already haven't hit that notification bell but um i want to have a conversation with y'all in the comments below um so yeah make sure you leave a comment make sure you follow me on my social media on my instagram and on my snapchat and stuff like that because i am becoming more active on all those platforms um yeah we can chop it up in the comments so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys, make sure you guys share this video because i feel like a lot of people need to hear this but i don't know maybe it's just me i don't know but yeah thank you guys love you guys so much um Make sure y'all social distance. Make sure y'all use y'all time wisely. And, you know, communicate with each other. That's why we have technology, guys. Like, we live in a tech-savvy era. Like, this is probably one of the best times to do any and everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, use the resources that we have, like, in terms of technology and things like that like FaceTime uh Google Duo uh Zoom like all that like you can still talk to people even though you're not physically there like text call all that so yeah use use the resources that we have guys like I need y'all to do that because the more we social distance the less time we gotta be in the house and the more time we wanna have together because like I said I'm trying to have a summer even though I may not be able to do nothing for my birthday I'm trying to have a summer guys like for real so um I went into a whole nother little spiel <laughs> but yeah uh let's chop it up in the comments thank you guys so much for watching love you guys bye guys Drop a big popper, think I need a surgeon, doctor, fire department. I've been on the street, no losses. We get sparked, and then I go and leave the surface. Join my marshes. Set the time, a seat recliner, but I never ease my mind in perfect timing. Recommend they work low harder, switch the grind up temperature. The smoke is rising, where's the hydrant? Night and daily dollars pay me, I'ma let it drop the draw.